How to torture narcissists so they suffer and die slowly. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are new around here, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you won't miss a single update of mine. Well, today we get into a topic that may prove very helpful for many of you. How to torture narcissists so they suffer. Now, mind you, this video is not at doing harm and being mean. It is also about knowing the psychology of a narcissist and how to protect yourself from becoming victimized again with what little control you have. No more time to waste, so let's dive into it. Narcissists are extreme self-centered, empathic-less and admiration-thirsty individuals. While they can be intensely delightful smile and charming to boot, allowing them have access too early in the process is not wise as their genuine nature is quite elusive. Interacting with a NPT is exhausting. But there are ways to get back at them and show manipulators the folly of their evil. At the very core, narcissists feed off of attention and validation. They need to be on top and have control over everything. The best thing you can do to crush a narcissist is generally the same piece of advice as it pertains to any personal conflict. Just simply ignore them. You take away their power by depriving them of the attention they so desperately want. It can be a challenge, especially when they are stooping so low to get some type of response out of you, but simply not responding is the best and only way. But also consider for a moment, with all her attention-seeking antics, how annoying must it be for someone who enjoys getting constant attention to now no longer get any? It is like pulling the life support. Vibration to the avoidance you described. Another powerful strategy is setting firm boundaries. Malignant narcissists will overstep your boundaries. They are not above manipulation to get what they want from you. Set specific limitations and follow through. Do not let them guilt trip you or get all emotional. When you demonstrate that his behavior is unacceptable, your power is minimized by him. Here consistency is key. Any wavering and they will seek a crack in your armor to take advantage of. However, controlling the direction of conversations is also a very subtle and effective one. Because narcissists are attention seekers and will do dominate every thread, make sure to bring the focus back on them. The script is flipped by redirecting the conversation away from them. Talk about things they care nothing for or boast the great accomplishments of other people. This way you eliminate their potential to brag and show off, which can be especially frustrating for a narcissist because it breaks down their feeling associated with grandiosity. Also just try to take credit from their grandiose self-image. Narcissists are very conceited and like boasting about how good they are, whether that is blowing their victory trumpet of important events in life or small stories. Politely ask questions about their statements without getting overly worked up. Gently take them from each illusion as you bring in facts and reason. This is a subtle way of undermining. It makes them question their own stories, and they hate that. Maintaining a calm and detached demeanor is crucial when dealing with a narcissist. They feed off emotional reactions and will go to great lengths to provoke you. By staying calm and composed, you deny them the satisfaction of seeing you upset. Show them that their attempts to manipulate your emotions are ineffective. This will frustrate them and make them realize that they don't have control over you. Praising others in the presence of a narcissist can be an excellent way to shift the attention away from them. Narcissists cannot stand seeing others receive praise and admiration. By acknowledging and celebrating the achievements of those around you, you make the narcissist feel overlooked and unimportant. This can be particularly torturous for them, as it directly contradicts their need to be the center of attention. Confidence is a trait that narcissists find hard to undermine. They often prey on those with low self-esteem because they are easier to manipulate. 
By being self-confident and assertive, you become a less appealing target. Show that you believe in yourself and that you won't be easily swayed or manipulated by their tactics. This can make them feel powerless and frustrated. It's also important to keep your personal life private. Narcissists can use personal information against you to manipulate and control you. The less they know about your vulnerabilities, the less power they have over you. Keep your cards close to your chest and avoid sharing details that they could exploit. Subtly highlighting their mistakes and flaws can be another way to make a narcissist suffer. Narcissists hate being wrong or looking incompetent. Point out their errors in a non-confrontational manner and do it with a calm and composed attitude. This can make them feel insecure and less confident in their abilities. Having a strong support system is essential. Narcissists will try to isolate you to gain more control. Surround yourself with friends and family who understand the situation and can provide emotional support. This makes you less dependent on the narcissist and less susceptible to their manipulative tactics. Knowing that you have a network of people who have your back can be incredibly empowering. One of the most powerful tools you have is your ability to walk away. Narcissists hate losing control and will go to great lengths to keep you in their orbit. If the relationship becomes too toxic, sometimes the best option is to distance yourself or cut ties completely. Walking away shows that you value yourself and your mental health more than their approval. This can be a significant blow to their ego as it shows they have no power over you. Lastly, always remember to focus on your own well-being. Narcissists can drain your energy and self-esteem. Engage in activities that make you happy and boost your confidence. Surround yourself with positive influences and practice self-care. By taking care of yourself, you become more resilient to their manipulative tactics and less affected by their behavior. And there you have it, folks. Ways to handle narcissists so they feel the impact of their own toxic behavior. Remember, the goal here is not to cause harm, but to protect yourself and make their manipulative tactics ineffective. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Also, leave a comment below and let us know your experiences with narcissists and how you've managed to handle them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more insightful content.